Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Helmut Schmidt. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Helmut Heinrich Waldemar Schmidt was born on December 23rd, 1918 in hamburg barmbeck a son of Gustav Ludwig and Ludovica Schmidt. At the age of 17, Helmut Schmidt was kicked out of the naval Hitler Youth for expressing by the NS regime unwanted views. Once he obtained his Abitur, the diploma allowing him to attend universities, he volunteered to his military service after he completed his Reichsarbeiterdienst. During the Second World War, Helmut Schmidt served in several anti-aircraft units. He participated in the siege of Leningrad and was commanded to attend the July 20th plot trials in August 1944. Schmidt, disgusted by Roland Freisler's performance, asked to be relieved of this duty, which was granted. By the end of the year 1944, Helmut Schmidt served on the Western Theater, where he criticized Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring. This almost resulted in a court-martial, but a commanding general kept transferring him to several different units to protect him from prosecution. He became a British prisoner of war in April 1945. For his efforts during the war, he was awarded the Iron Cross Second Class and he held the rank of Oberleutnant der Reserve, corresponding to the rank of First Lieutenant in the, in the United States Army. In August 1945, he was released from captivity and began to study economics and political science. He graduated at the University of Hamburg in the year 1949. While attending university, he became a member of the SPD, the Social Democratic Party of Germany, as well as the leader of the Socialist German Student League in the British occupied zone of Germany. From 1953 until 1962, Helmut Schmidt was a member of the German Bundestag, the German parliament. In the year 1962, while he served as Innensenator, the city of Hamburg, that meant he was in charge of the police of Hamburg, Helmut Schmidt became known for his management during the Stormflood catastrophe, the year 1962. On February 16th, the city of Hamburg was faced with dike breaches along the Elbe River. In Hamburg alone, more than 60 dikes broke, leading to a massive flooding of the city. About a sixth of the city was flooded. Schmidt took charge of the situation. In a helicopter ride, he assessed the situation and called for help of the Bundeswehr, although at this time it violated the German Grundgesetz, which is the German constitution. The German military had been used on German ground to aid citizens before it all. Schmidt called also for NATO help. Due to his behavior, the worst case scenario had been avoided. In the year 1965, Helmut Schmidt returned to the Bundestag and held the position of deputy chairman of the Social Democratic Party. This position he held until the year 1983. When his party took over the government after the federal election in the year 1969 with Willy Brandt as German Chancellor, Schmidt became the Minister of Defense. Before he became the Chancellor in the year 1974, he also held the positions of Minister of Finance and Economics. On May 16, 1974, Helmut Schmidt was elected by the German Parliament as the fifth West German Chancellor after his predecessor, Willy Brandt, stepped down from his position after one of his close colleagues, Günther Guillaume, had been identified as an East German spy. During his time in office as West German Chancellor, he faced a worldwide recession, the oil crisis in the year 1979-1980, as well as left extreme terrorism peaking in the German autumn year 1977. I made another video about the Red Army faction where I speak a little bit more about this 
and you can find this on the eye in the top right of this video. Helmut Schmidt was pro-nuclear powered energy and pushed for the NATO double track decision. Especially this caused backfire from his own party. After Helmut Schmidt was re-elected in the year 1980, his coalition broke apart two years later after five of his ministers stepped down from their posts. And the motion of no confidence against him was filed. He was succeeded by Helmut Kohl from the CDU, the Christian Democratic Union. Schmidt remained a member of the German Bundestag till the year 1987. After his political career, he kept appearing in television shows speaking about current and past politics. Since 1983, he was involved with the journal Die Zeit, the time in English, until 1990, he was also the manager at the journal. In a poll taken in the year 2007, Helmut Schmidt was the most popular politician in Germany. The father of two was married to Hannelore Schmidt, called Loki, from 1942 until her death in the year 2010, and was the domestic partner of Ruf Lohr until he died on November 10th, 2015, at the age of 96 in Hamburg-Langenhorn. Thank you so much for watching.